On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install 85 inch TV on a small room, so stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Today's TV mount that I'll be using is a Stanley brand. It is made for 37 up to 90 inch TVs. So take this into consideration before you go and buy a TV mount. Make sure that it's the right one for the right size of your TV because the load rating is different on each sizes. So don't be getting a small TV mount for a large size or vice versa because it will be a very, very dangerous thing to do. So this one is up to 26 inch. The TV that we'll be mounting today is this 85 inch TV. You see where the mounting holes are. This is the top and there's other two more on the bottom. Just to see what the measurements are, we always want to make sure that you measure your TV. This one measures up to from that whole mount is 36 inch. And if you go keep going up, the height is 46 inches total. Now let's go to the width of the TV and it's measuring up to 75 inch total. You want to make a map 20 inch from the first hole, 36 on the second. Now to make it clear on how you want to mount this onto your wall, you want to take where the top of your, your bracket is where the hook is going to clamp onto. So that is where the arrow is pointing and you get the measurement from there up to the measurement up to the top of the TV. So in this scenario, let's just say it's about 8 inches from that hook up to the very top of that TV. Now here is our fake wall. You're going to pick anywhere into that wall where you want to mount it. It's totally up to you. And let's just say we want to mount it right here. And that's where you want to mount the top of the bracket right there where it's pointing. So from the top of that bracket right here where I'm going to be showing you, you want to measure, take your measurement out of 8 inches and go up. And from that measurement, that's where that 8 inches is where is that new TV. The top of that TV is where it's going to be placed on. So that is where the top of the TV is going to be sitting on top okay so it's totally up to you where you want to go and mount tv you can put it on the left the bottom wherever it's totally up to you just make sure that wherever you mount it the bracket is always the same spot where you're going to go with the measurement of the tv okay so if you have any questions on that if you're confused let me know in the comment section down below i'll be glad to help you so one of the most important tools that every deal wire should have on their toolbox should be the stud finder so this one is a franklin stud finder it's very easy to use and you want to try to find where your studs are i'm marking them with masking tape it's totally up to you how you want to mark them but in this case my house is not built correctly so it's not completely 16 inch centers on each studs but to make sure that you see where the middle is of this your your bracket's not going to be centered correctly you always want to just coincide your bracket to where the studs are so whether it be more to the left to the right your in my case i'm not going to get it perfectly centered so i'm just going to mark out and lightly put a pencil mark on where the studs are this is just for instructional purposes only so you can kind of see where the studs run but in reality we're not going to draw those lines this is for instructional purposes only so right there this is where we're going to mount our tv mount this is where it's going to sit onto the studs where those holes so you're going to find and shift the bracket to where the studs are going to sit on co those corresponding holes use your level make sure that it is nice and leveled first now what i like to do is i like to mark one spot first and drill from there then the drill i'm going to be using is a 3 drill depending on your tv it could be a little bigger for the pilot hole so you want to go and drill out your pilot holes now we're going to be using this bit right here. I'm going to be using this to go and drive this lag bolt. I'm going to be using my impact wrench just to drive it in, but not fully tighten it. You always want to do just one side at a time. You don't want to do the full thing. You just want to go so you have enough room to go and mess around with it so that you can get the right level. So you never want to drive this thing with the impact wrench all the way through because it'll pretty much eat away all that um, connection with the stud. So you want to go and just high tighten this with a uh, ratchet so you're gonna go and just move it around and make sure that it's nice and level when you find that nice and level spot go and now drive the rest of the lag bolts in every corner again use your ratcheting tool by hand ratchet it and make sure that it's nice and hand tight don't use your drill or your impact drill okay so now what you see that everything is nice and leveled Again, all the tools and materials that I use in this video on all the tools that I use, I'll leave the link on the description down below to make it easier for you of all the tools that I use. But pretty much, yeah, you go and drive everything in. And again, here you go. I'm using my ratch ratcheting tool and using it and driving it by hand. 
So each one of these kits come with many different type sizes, spacers for whichever TV that you have. Here are all the different selections. Here's one for my TV. There's a long version and then a short version. If I use the long version to drive into the back of this TV, you see the there's a big gap that's left over. So I'm going to be using a lot of spacers. The point of my, you know, my concept is I want to use a the small size and use less of the spacers. So I am only gonna be using a, a tiny spacer and I'm gonna be mounting that with that metal bracket at the back. Now the point of the spacers is that if your TV is convexed or it bubbles out, this pretty much allows it so that the bracket that we're installing at the back does not go and touch the back of that TV. So I'll pretty much show you what it looks like if you install that spacer, you'll have that little tiny space right there. Some of you might have larger spaces than what I have now, but you see that there's about like a uh, one eighth inch of distance from where that arm is to the back of that TV. So that's what it looks like. You see the light coming through. Now I had my very lovely wife to actually help me up with this because this is a super huge and heavy TV and we're going to be installing this in the small room. Uh, I kind of wanted to do an experiment on this because I wanted to put a, a big TV on a small room so I can feel like I'm in the theater like that's why we ended up getting this TV plus it was on sale so that helped out a lot so my wife actually had to go get a step ladder so that she can help me but two people will definitely be the way to do to hang this TV don't try to hang it to yourself because it's going to be very dangerous and it could damage or you could get hurt so once you got everything this is actually a tilting version a TV mount so once you get everything nice and mounted um, just take out all the stickers and my wife was ready to decorate as she loves doing that but look at the back right here I know it's a little grainy I apologize but on the back there should be a little hook now here's one for an hour uh, TV on our dress on our bedroom and this is the little lever that hooks up to the back make sure that it's nice and latched for your safety so to put everything in perspective from the floating shelf I measured a 10 inches so from the ceiling up to the top of the TV, that's around eight and a half inches. So here's what the 85 inch looks like on a small room like this one. This is our living room. Again, this is a 1970 home, very small or low ceilings. And we kind of just wanted to test out what a huge TV like this would look like in this room. We kind of want to get that theater like feel since it is a small room. And ideally you want to get the TV like about eye height level, but when we're sitting on the couch we're going to be leaning our necks and kind of laying down so we're kind of in a comfortable position again that position of the tv is totally up to you again friends this is how easy it is if you found this video helpful friends please hit that big thumbs up subscribe notification bell and i'll see you friends on the next diy how-to video